What are embeds and how are they made? Keep watching to find out. This is Sherry and Buddy, the top dog from Lucky Dog Creations. Let's get started. Today we'll be making embeds. What are embeds? They're extra burst of color in your bath bomb. You drop your bath bomb in the water like you normally do and it fizzes and then as soon as the water hits the embed, an extra burst and fizz of color pops out. So let's get started. You take a third cup of citric acid and a third cup of baking soda. That's a one-on-one -on -one ratio, a little bit different than the bath bomb recipe. Dump that in there and give it a stir. And you want to make sure that you get all of the clots out just like you do with the bath bomb recipe. And this doesn't have very many ingredients to it. It actually only has the citric acid, the baking soda, the mica powder coloring, and 91% alcohol. But they do get really, really rock hard and you have to let them dry for at least 24 hours to 48 hours so they will be nice and hard inside of the bath bomb. Okay so now I have a blue. It's kind of a deep blue. I'm hoping that it will work and I will try to open this. And then I'm going to take about an eighth teaspoon and dump it in there. And you can go ahead and continue using the whisk, but it works just as well with your hands. Your hands will look like they stain, but this does not stain. You just have to wash your hands when you're all done. Okay, so we are breaking up the clots and mixing. You want to make sure that it's all mixed in good. It's looking kind of grayish, but when you add the alcohol, the color will pop a little bit more. And then hopefully it will pop a lot when it hits the water. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and add some more coloring just to play it safe. You can add as much as you want on this because it is a dry ingredient, so it's not going to make a difference whether your mix is too wet or not. So I'll go ahead and mix it some more and get it really, really mixed good. And it's looking a little less gray, so I'm thinking we're doing pretty good on that. I'm still breaking up the little bit of clots because who wants clots in their embeds? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take my 91% alcohol. I don't know why it has to be 91%, maybe to just help it bind together. If anybody knows, you know, please comment below so I can learn something. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this and it's going to actually want to have it on, um, on mist because if you have it straight spray, it's going to activate too soon. So you're just going to spray and, and then um, mix and spray and mix until it gets a consistency of damp sand. You want it a little bit less wet than you do your bath bomb recipe. Okay, so here goes. And it's turning a little bit nicer color. In fact, you can actually see that. That's why I decided to use a glass bowl this time so you can actually see the color. It smells very much like rubbing alcohol not very good smell at all but it will evaporate and this dries really really quick because it is just using alcohol so you want to make sure that when you get it all mixed up and stuff that you hurry up and put it in the molds now the molds you can use anything you can um, buy a little mini ice cube container you can use um, little silicone molds, or you can just use what I plan on doing, the cheap, cheap way to do it, and using 
a teaspoon and a half a teaspoon. They're actually round and so they're gonna actually look like mini half bath bombs, which I think will fit in the bath bombs really, really well. And of course, you know, we check the consistency so we don't get it too wet. Almost there. Probably a couple more spritz and then we'll be good. It's kind of a, a sky blue and it looks like it is ready to put in the molds. Like I said, you don't want it quite as wet as it is a bath bomb. And it'll dry rock hard and then we can put it in the mold. So I will be back in just a minute to show you how to do the molds. Okay, so I have here a cookie sheet with a piece of parchment paper on there and my teaspoons and teaspoon and half a teaspoon. It all depends on what size bath bomb you have as to what size embed that you're going to want to put in there. You want to make sure that it fits and surrounds it very well. You take it and just flip it over. And there you have it. Some people like to have their embeds on the very end of their bath bomb with a white bath bomb with a burst of color on the end so it, it turns the burst of color as soon as it hits the water. I like the idea of having a surprise burst of color when it hits the middle of the bath bomb myself. These would be good ideas for um, gender parties. So um, if you're going to have a baby and you don't know what you're going to have, you can have a, a white bath bomb with one of these pink or blue in there and they drop it in the glass of water and you find out whether you're going to have a boy or girl depending on what color embed this is. You can also have, you know, just several colors in there. You can put one on one side a different color on the other side and then you'd have two bursts of color. I think that would be really fun. These don't have any essential oil in them. The bath bomb themselves will have the oil. These are just for the color. I suppose you could add the essential oil but then you'd have to be careful of the mix being too wet and stuff. Okay, those are coming along really well. You can do oval ones. And I'll show you how to do the teaspoon one. And it's a little bit bigger, so you might have to have a bigger bath bomb than that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish making these, and then I'll show you how many we made when I'm done. Okay, so this is how many the mix made of the embeds. We have the different sizes. I made quite a few, and they were very easy to make. A lot easier to make than me making this video, that's for sure. So after this dry for 24 to 48 hours, I'll go ahead and show you how we put them into the bath bombs. And then as a final result, we'll take that bath bomb and drop it in the water and see if it has that extra pop of color. Okay, so the embeds have dried for 24 hours. I made pink and I made some blue. I'm not sure if they're going to be dark enough to make that pop, but we're going to try it. I let them uh, dry for 24 hours. Hopefully they are hard enough. I've already made my bath bomb mix. I'm not going to go ahead and give you the recipe. You can go ahead and check out my first video and um, it has the recipe in it and I will go ahead and leave the link in the bottom. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do like we normally do with the bath bombs. We'll start packing it and then we're going to stick an embed in there and then cover it up. And what's going to be fun about this is if uh, you give it to somebody and they don't know what color it is, they'll take a bath and all of a sudden the water will hit the embed and then all of a sudden you'll have a burst of color. Okay, and then you just pack that up like you normally do. 
We'll put another embed on the other side. Push it down. And fill it up. And I picked this recipe mainly because I already had all of the ingredients in my house. Some of them call for glycerin or cream of tartar. I went to the store to go buy some of that and they were out of both. So I thought, well, I'll just use the one recipe that I already have. So hopefully this turns out. If not, I will probably try some of the other ones. And there is another good bath bomb. Now what I think might be fun is put one in a starfish mold and then you can have several embeds. I'm going to put one in each little leg of the starfish. So he should have lots of burst of color when the water hits those. And then I'll go ahead and cover that up. Like you do a regular mold, we push it down. And then I'll go ahead and let them dry for two hours. And then we'll be back to see how well they fizz. Okay, here is the finished product. And we'll be putting them in the water to see how much color burst we get from these. Okay, things. here goes. Okay, so I have never made embeds before and this was very fun to try and do. I have learned a few things. I learned that you need to put a lot more mica powder to make the colors a lot deeper. The outcome was really cool. You could see a little bit of the pink, but it wasn't deep enough to really make a difference, I don't feel. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I had fun making it. Um, give me a comment. Give me thumbs up, give me thumbs down, please subscribe and hit the little bell, and I will see you next time. Thank you.